Hey y'all, let's just jump right in. Today I'm gonna share with you three tech tips and tools that will make you an amazing online presenter. Let's do it. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Robert Kennedy III, RK3, and I help leaders deliver critical messages with confidence. If you're not new to the channel, I'm still Robert Kennedy III. No difference there. All right. But listen, you came here because you wanted to learn a little bit more about how you can deliver online presentations in an amazing, confident way. Now, your content is important and your content is needs to be really good. Yeah, it's got to be good. Good. Excellent. Really good. <laughs> Content is super important, but let's go through three tools and technologies can, that can really help you get your presentations, your online presentations to that next level. Here's the first one, using polls. Now, if you've used Zoom or other tools like that, polls are something that are included inside of Zoom, but maybe you're not using Zoom. There's some other polling tools that you can use. One of my favorites is poll everywhere. Now you can do a lot of things like ask multiple choice questions or multiple response questions or questions that involve choosing from a picture or two. But there are a lot of different things that you can do, including word clouds and other different question types or poll types to really ramp up the level of engagement in your presentations. Here's an example of a word cloud that I did for a presentation, a client presentation recently. All right, I'm using the Poll Everywhere app right now and I'm just clicking one of these uh, questions that I had prepared for a previous meeting and it said, what do you hate most about virtual meetings? I'll click on that and if you notice up at the top, it asks them to text a specific number, text my name with a code to a specific number or go to a specific website and they're able to put in all of this information and this is what comes up. Now, Poll Everywhere is one of my favorites, but you can use other polling tools like Kahoot or Mentimeter. Tip number two for increasing the level of your online engagement is use a teleprompter. Now, when we think about teleprompters, a lot of people think about those clear plexiglass things that presidents and, and other politicians use to go through their speeches, but there are a lot of different teleprompters that you can use. I use some all the time, especially when I'm making videos or doing online presentations to keep me on track. I can see the text right in front of me, but I can also look directly at the camera in order to look like I'm engaging with my audience. Teleprompters do not have to be this big device. You can use teleprompters on your, your smartphones or your tablets, your iPads or your iPhones, or maybe you have an Android. One of my favorite teleprompter apps is Teleprompter Premium or Teleprompter Plus by Joe Allen. I'll share that link in the description so you can check that out. Here's how it works for me. So this is Teleprompter Plus plugged into my iPhone and the text is, has already been loaded and I can just click the start button here and it'll cause the text to start moving and as, as I'm looking directly into the monitor or into the camera still. Chat to three things they're thankful for. Look at this. How many people have heard that 2020 is the worst year ever? All right, and I can speed up and slow down the text, the way the text goes with that slider. Then click stop and it records the video when I'm done. Number three, tech tip number three. Your slides, if you happen to be using slides, a lot of times you share slides and you put these slides on the screen and they take up a lot of the space and people never see you or they see you in a little box in the corner or maybe you're not there at all. I like to be able to jump back and forth between my slides without a lot of effort so that the audience can connect with me and they can really see how I interact or feel about that content. One of my favorite tools for that is Prezi Video. Here's an example of how I use Prezi Video and that allows me to go back and forth between the slides and the text and the content that's on screen and me 
also, again, with the purpose of looking at the audience in the eye and physically engaging with them. Now, that was a general overview of three tools that I use. I'll do some deep dives in later videos. Do me a favor, in the comments, let me know where you want me to go deeper and I'll do a video about that specific tool and show you a little bit more behind the scenes of how it works, okay? That's all I've got to share today. That was an overview. We'll go deeper a little bit later on. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Share it with other people who you think may want to know a little bit more about the techniques or the technologies of storytelling. Listen, I will see you in another video coming up real soon. Woo!